for investing your time with us. The program is still this morning on ITV. It's now time for us to talk aviation for those who love to cruise uh, in the sky, you know, for sure. When you are airborne, you look at those beneath, everything looks very small. You could see the cloud and want to touch it, but somehow, somewhat. Uh, it's already airtight. You cannot open the windows here, but you just enjoy one beautiful view for those. What uh, the side of the look at it, get your phone. I record the, the atmosphere. And someone asked, Is it the stratosphere or you record just just record anything you see? And if you're sitting there, uh, just close to the wind, uh, uh, the wing, you just know that, yeah, the wing, you're gonna get that big noise coming into your ear. My name is Iharuata, and I cannot talk aviation here. I'm just uh, some some sort of uh, fundamental. I don't want to say I'm a channel. But one loving the profession, loving loving the, the sector. But the uh, Mr. Godwin A.K. who have been a regular, regular guest here. On you know, uh, informed so that when we talk education, uh, talk education, we talk from a standpoint of knowledge. Here. Uh, his contact there on the screen, that's the picture there on the screen, and his contact, Mr. Godwin N. E.K. You can contact him on his telephone line should you want to. The email address is there, uh, Godi E.K. at the old copy at the website to reach to discuss with him. Uh, the YouTube channel, Aviation Freaks Official, and the Twitter handle at Aviation Freaks. Is so here with me in the studio. A very wonderful morning, sir. Hi, good morning, Arthur. Very wonderful morning, sir. Wonderful. Good morning, sir. How, How was the weekend? Wonderful as always, Arthur. Wonderful. Yes, I, I, I just inform me that Mr. Godwin Ike got so much to talk about today. And during our pre motem discussion before the program, he said, Look, Atta, I got so much to teach the people. So don't interject. I'm giving all the lectures. So you may see me doing so much of quietness this morning. It's just because the master have asked the, 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 the other man here to just allow him. So what, what are we looking at today? Oh, wonderful. Um, uh, we're doing um, part two, um, perhaps the final. Uh, the 59th um, uh, ACI, that Airport Council International mm -hmm. meeting that held in Lagos uh, two weeks ago. Um, we're going to be uh, looking at summary of um, uh, the issues the, the dealt with all through you know the one week meeting, uh, which of course uh, my humble self attended. And um, uh, Atta, why I've, why I've asked. Uh, for less interjection today is that I had to, through the week, compress a 314-page document into just 12 clips. How did you do that? Uh, that means you're going to remove so much, so much of the uh, some some vital, well, vital well, parts may be affected. Well, um, it, it's it's a summary. Um, it, it's 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 all about challenging the minds of those who are interested and okay. Nigerians who are interested then giving them uh, access to how to reach uh, larger information by themselves. Everything is up there in the cloud. And then uh, educate themselves more and understand the hard work that FAN uh, is doing to make our aviation sector you know, better. Okay, can we so start? if we go on now to click one, um, we'll be able to uh, take it from there. Click one, please. Here we go, Atta. Uh, unfortunately, I, I just hope my viewers will be able to see this. I think, I think we can see clearly clip one, our business transformation uh, for sustainable African airport. Transformation in a city or, uh, or a utopia. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. You've got wonderful eyes, uh, <laughs> I try to, uh, I try to look like you. You've got, you've got wonderful <laughs> eyes. That's, that's lovely. Yes. Um, that, uh, I tell to that pa in a paper one, the theme, the general theme for the entire week program, uh, uh, you know, uh, remains uh, business transformation for sustainable African airports. Okay. Remember, ACI Africa, it's against ACI World. And so, um, uh, the first paper dealt with the topic of airports business transformation. And it's asking, is it a necessity? or just a utopia. And uh, um, if you look at the photograph on the right, those are the gentlemen that, um, and lady. You call the, them very, the very young, smart, smart, <laughs> smart combination. That's correct. And then, of course, uh, you, you have the um, uh, Angela 
uh, Gittins, uh, who's the Director General of AC, ACI Ward, you know, the, the, the lady starting, uh, standing uh, by the leg 10, uh, you know, there, and then the, the gentleman who, uh, you know, uh, dealt with this particular, you know, topic. And of course, they came up with the conclusion that um, uh, it's, a, it's a necessity to have uh, EPOS uh, business uh, you know, transformation done. So uh, let's move to clip two very quickly because we have about 12 clips mm -hmm. to go and uh, tie, so that okay, before time chases clip out. Two now. now clip two, uh, the, 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 other, the other issue that uh, the, uh, the conference uh, dealt with was um, uh, take advantage of the partnership with industry to support business transformation. Uh, this is an area that I, you know, that, uh, and then of course on the photograph on the left, you find the list of all the individuals um, who, uh, you know, did justice. Look at that young lady, um, you know, uh, on the far right. Okay. Very young lady, less than 30. And uh, she, she was quite fantastic in her delivery. Uh, you know, I watched her personally. Or, or rather, I listened to her live, you know, uh, during that program. And I was quite impressed. Now, it's, this is an area that challenges all Nigerians out there who, who can uh, put their brains uh, to work and uh, take advantage of the partnership with the industry to support business. So now the, uh, the aviation sector is, has been opened up to anyone who can think. Just think about anything that will make the airport a better environment and uh, a more um, economically viable environment. Think about anything on the surface of this earth and then walk up to FAN, discuss it, reach an agreement, and you will be given a space to add your bid to, to the success of our airports. So my dear fellow Nigerians out there, stop grumbling and stop complaining. This, 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 this space is being open. Are you sure you don't know somebody who knows somebody? No, 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 absolutely not. Be sure of that. As a matter of fact, this, this is telling you if you come up with a bright idea that can improve you know, uh, um, uh, business uh, uh, deals in our airports, uh, and uh, you think your idea will be stolen, come and route it through me, and uh, I'll ensure that it gets to the appropriate department, and as soon as you reach an agreement, just be sure no one is going to mess with your intellectual property. Be sure of that. And so, it, the skies are open for us, the, 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 the field is open, and uh, we must start thinking and working and stop complaining, you, you know, because any bright idea you come up with will just make you an instant multi-millionaire, multi and uh, you make our airports better and more economically viable. That's what's going on now. So, that is about the paper too. Let's move to clip three very quickly. I think uh, you can get clip three very quickly here. Yeah, that's yeah, three, yeah, airport that, retail and duty free. That's correct. Airport retail and duty free. As a matter of fact, the, the, the duty free uh, thing is being threatened because uh, WHO, the World Health Organization, is been making a whole lot of trouble, especially for the sale of tobacco, and uh, giving the impression that the duty free stuff is encouraging, uh, you know, uh, illegal uh, uh, business in in the tobacco in the tobacco business, which they they are saying uh, uh, contribute a lot to, to the death of uh, people around the world, and it's encouraging a lot of people to, to engage in smoking rather than reducing. There's a whole lot of uh, argument going on, but uh, those that came made very strong case of the fact that duty free is not responsible for the um, tobacco uh, promotion. Uh, yes, the tobacco promotion and the, uh, uh, misuse, and they are, you know. And they are trying. They are saying that they want to uh, take that back to the United Nations and uh, get WHO to suspend its um, um, uh, uh, move to, you know, to kill the, the duty-free, you know, tobacco business. But that's not the only thing that happens in duty-free. A whole lot is going on there. Is uh, is one big booming perfume perfume business. That's correct. <laughs> I uh, love that. And uh, we can actually expand our airports and open up.
presentation of the African Airports Development Program. Mm -hmm. This was the one that really, really, really thrilled me beyond words. You know, um, uh, these individuals managing our uh, uh, ACI, the Airports Council International Africa, ACI Africa, they, are, they have very big thoughts for airports in Africa. And like I said to you, uh, Atta, uh, they are still insisting funding is not a problem. Put your papers together, put your figures together, make them uh, feasible and viable, and, uh, and be sure that funds will flow in to give you any size or magnitude of development, uh, airport development that you need in, in uh, commercially viable locations uh, of, the, of, the, of the country. So uh, that's um, the, the, uh, this paper, you know, dealt with presentation of the African Airports Development Program. And I urge viewers, if you are interested, get to the net, type in ACI Africa, and then uh, you see all the information, read through them, and see where you can key in and be part of this uh, huge, huge, you know, movement uh, to uh, make our airports uh, uh, more viable and uh, enjoyable. So, uh, clip five, please. Clip five. That's clip five there, changing yeah. uh, leadership. Changing leadership mindsets. Successful transformation. Another one that challenged every individual in that hall. You know, uh, experts uh, came up with the fact that necessarily because uh, our airports can do well, that they are doing very badly. It's all about leadership and that uh, uh, we need to change the mindset of, uh, of, of our uh, leaders. And when we're talking about leaders, we're not just talking about Mr. President and his vice and the rest of them in, in the, in, you know, as ministers. And uh, he's talking about every one of us, every Nigerian who, you know, who ha has one little control in one small circle. He's saying, change your mindset. Let your mindset be geared towards um, uh, achieving a positive goal, you know, and uh, getting things done properly and legally. That's what the, the, these individuals are saying. And that if we also deploy that in the, in the management of our airports, they will be better and more uh, viable, you know, uh, place that will add to the G GDP of, um, uh, of the nation. So that's what the mindset thing is, and I hope somebody <coughs> somewhere somebody is changing is changing the mindset. I'm not not believing that this is how we used to do it. Uh, 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 the kind of country we dream about will not never never from the sky. We it's got to be hands on deck, and we have to deal with the, uh, all the ugly issues and make our country you know a place we can all be proud of and leave for our children who can who will also be proud of us when we are all gone out of this place. Remember, we are all passing through. This place is not our home, if you remember that. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're you're going, going back to Jim Reeves and you're going, <laughs> <laughs> you're going Celestia. This world is not my home. Uh, I am just it's passing, passing through. through. Okay, <laughs> my treasures are laid that. up somewhere. <laughs> so that's it. So let's, um, let's move to uh, clip six very quickly. Uh, and this clip six is saying the future of airport charges and taxes. That, that is another area, and you see the gentleman that, that dealt with that topic. If you look at the, the, you know, the photo on the left, you see, you see the names and where they are all coming, their background and where they are all coming from. Everything is all out there for you. Um, I, as a matter of fact, if you have your camcorder or your video on your phone and you want to just record this, you are free. You are free. There is no restriction at all. This information is doled out uh, in the courtesy of my humble self in order for you to get more information and key in and, and be better Nigerians and uh, make some good money and be happy. That's what it's all about. So I'm not holding you to any intellectual property. Um, uh, and by the way, it's coming, it's coming to you courtesy of uh, Federal Air Force of uh, 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 Authority of Nigeria. And that, uh, and that is FAN who put together this program and then uh, you know, invited uh, me and my attendant and um, you know, I'm bringing this information to let you know that something is going on and so some, some group of people are working for this nation and hoping that Nigerians will uh, cooperate and make our nation a better place and make our aviation sector a very safe one and a, uh, an economically viable one. Uh, clip seven, please. Clip seven. Uh, here we go, um, Atta. Uh, uh, the, other, the other paper uh, was titled uh, 
technology to support business transformation. That again thrilled me. As a matter of fact, I feel like ferrying all Nigerians to um, uh, to, the air, no, to the airport in Singapore to see technology <laughs> at work. And, uh, and funnily enough, right at our western border here, Ghana, Ghana has automated its uh, passport control. You, you, you don't have make contact with any human being anymore. You, w you walk through an, an automa uh, uh, automation system and it checks out uh, your, the validity of your passport and everything and then opens for you to walk through. And if you are in there with something that is fake, it locks you in until uh, uh, security uh, men and women you ra ra round you up and take you for, for, for questioning. And so uh, if Ghana has been able to achieve this, uh, this feat, then I just wonder what we're doing here. Uh, we must sit up and uh, you know, get on the moving train. This technology train is moving at high speed. It's not waiting for anyone. If you jump in, it takes you to the destination. If, if you, you don't jump you, in, if you stand uh, by, the stone side, age. Stand by the side, it just leaves you behind and moves on. And then, uh, like you were said, you remain mm, there, the stone, the, the stone, stone age, and uh, rot, rot away <laughs> there. So, um, uh, my dear viewers and my dear fellow Nigerians, there's a whole lot of work to do, and the space is open. Stop complaining and stop grumbling. Get down to work. Get down to work. Uh, Atta, with all due humility, I worked until about 2 a.m. and then got up at 5. I had only three hours sleep, and I'm so happy, and uh, had to tidy up everything, including being able to be here today to present this, uh, you know, to this program. It, it, it gives joy. It, it doesn't uh, tarnish you. It doesn't uh, reduce you. It rather it places you above your challenges. And that's what I urge all Nigerians to begin to learn to do. We must grumble less and work more. Thank grumble you. less mm -hmm. and work, work more. That's what we must do. Now, uh, clip eight, please. That's uh, 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 transformation in practice. Now, the, 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 the presenters, as you see them there, those are the gentlemen who dealt with the, that awesome topic, transformation in practice, and of course, there are details you find on the left, uh, you know, uh, uh, photograph with, uh, and their background, everything about those gentlemen there. Uh, you will see, they, they practically said, said to us, yes, we talk about transformation, but how can we really, you know, have it live? in our airports and they demonstrated it showed us quite a lot a, a lot of ways that we can uh, you know practice our transformation and, and, and watch and see our airports you know doing uh, economically you know uh, well and um, that again you can help yourself when you get to the net and uh, take a look at these topics and read through um, I, I peruse uh, uh, over the week, uh, a 314 page document to, uh, to compress them into these 12 clips we are dealing with uh, you know, this morning, uh, Atta, and uh, it's awesome. Uh, there's so much to learn, and I hope somebody somewhere gets, uh, gets serious, take the advantage that is uh, presented by, th by this conference. There's so much money to be made, by the way. Um, nine. Clip nine. Clip nine, very quickly. Um, is in conclusion? Uh, no, no, uh, yes, conclusion one. Yes, conclusion one. Now, this is one I'm going to read out to see um, uh, some of the uh, conclusions made after okay. all the papers. I, I have just run through all the papers that uh, were presented throughout the, the different sessions that you know that we had over the period of about about uh, five days. Um, and the success is not about specific technologies, uh, uh, but rather how they are deployed how they interact and how they are utilized to generate an outcome. Did you see that's, that's one true. of the conclusions they made, that success is not about specific technologies. Yes, technologies are good, but then uh, for you to make success, you have to rather um, uh, know how they are deployed and how they interact and how they are utilized to generate uh, an outcome. Uh, tools, processes, people. And they talked about speed, standards, change management, flexibility, uh, you know, customer satisfaction and improved you know, uh, revenue. I, I look at uh, clip 10, which is another conclusion that, you know, that uh, they made. Uh, clip 10 is right there on the screen. And you read, uh, you read through with me, uh, customer is still priority number one. 
that's one of the conclusions they made that we must take those that use our airports seriously and always constantly look out for you know their behavior what they want and navigate our in installations to suit what what these individuals visit our airports um, uh, you know so that they can they'll keep uh, coming yes uh, as a matter of fact it's an irony that we keep people because we don't have the space and we don't we haven't developed our airports to the point that people can actually come in and launch just stay there you know have fun they are not flying to anywhere but they are spending their money you know buying things even coffee you know biscuits or whatever anything anything that you can just put that money to to exchange and uh, and sit around you don't have to be with somebody who's flying but if, if in our own airports you find people littered everywhere you know locked out of the environment i quite understand that because we have you don't have the infrastructure yet to carry uh, people uh, on the inside and of course we are bothered about security i quite agree with uh, what we are doing at the moment but we must invest money very quickly expand the system and make it more economically viable maybe the remodeling uh, will help that's right model, uh, remodeling will help so um uh, this we must do we have the numbers in this country no matter how much you invest uh, it, once you make our airports viable the airports will be able to pay back definitely and I hope, I hope somebody somewhere is listening. Um, let's get to 11 very quickly. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, sorry. Uh, uh, can we have uh, 11 on the screen? That's it there, uh, my dear viewers. Um, uh, in summary, uh, the, the uh, conference came up with other passengers want choices. Can you, can you see that? Uh, that pass passengers want varieties. Want. Yes, want choices. And then they want control and the personalized approach people want to come into the airport and really you know do things you know the way they feel according to the uh, limitation placed you know before them with uh, technology and then uh, make choices of how the, when you want to check in provided you're within the confines of the time limit you know and then where you want to check in and how you want to be you know in which part of the plane you want to sit as long as you get the advantage of being the first to, to make that selection all those then uh, uh, a one-size-fits-all approach does not work anymore a one a one-size-fits-all that yep. is to say this kind of straight jacket, uh, straight jacket stuff this is how we want to do it that it doesn't work anymore you must make w it what is flexible flexible okay so um, another in, in summary they said the greatest risk is to ignore that such changes are taking place. If you ignore the fact that people are changing, and you know, uh, then it's the, the described it as the greatest risk in achieving success in airport development. And an opportunity for new business case, I have already mentioned that to my viewers. Great opportunity, great, great opportunity, you know, available there. Take, you know, take advantage and uh, uh, fill, up, fill your pockets with well-earned money, pay your tax, and if your change can buy you a private jet, go ahead and buy. It's all yours and have fun, you know, uh, for as long as you pay your tax, as you earn your money. <laughs> right. And, uh, okay, opportunity for new business case, improved experience and revenues, organized data, I I you know, integration, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the one they call uh, BI is a must. Then uh, at the end of the day, what matters is the consumer's desires, demands, wants, and needs. Did you hear that, Atta? At the end of the day, what matters is the consumer's desires, demands, wants, and needs. If you can understand and respond to those, that is a secret sauce, and uh, it may or not, uh, or not involve technology. They're saying, yes, technology is good, but making a big success may not necessarily inv involve, and look at the big punch there customer customer flexibility customer flexibility and that's uh, what they are saying well if uh, click 12 is simply showing the logo of this uh, great organization the the voice of african air force that is uh, air force uh, council international africa aci africa and they're saying to the world we are leading uh, representing and serving the african airport community um, isn't that a wonderful logo you've got, you've you, you got out there, um, with Africa being the center of their, of their action. And so, um, 
I, I, I think uh, we are done with the clips. So, uh, if there are impressions you've gotten and you want to really ask questions about now, you can speak to me. Well, <laughs> but, 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 uh, our time uh, is almost uh, up. I know our uh, next guest is already in house here. Uh, are we are we really set uh, to actually get our airport in line with global pra best practices here? To get them in that state where you you, you get to an airport, you don't know the, the difference between an airport and a shopping mall. Um, at a, it's ah, a, see, it appears too mechanical. It, it, yes, that's correct. Uh, at, the, at the moment, uh, it's looking as if we are not. It's just a perception at the moment. But I tell you, uh, planning to join the World League in, in this development is not a one-day affair. You've got to do the behind-the-scenes job of uh, planning, drawing, uh, making the designs, and, uh, and then, of course, uh, working out the, uh, the, the you know the funding in the process, how to raise uh, the funds that we are told that are out there, and then um, uh, and then get ready to to do the construction work. Give and take. If we start today and get serious, we should be able to have uh, this staring at us in in the next five years. If we start today and get serious and begin to do what we have to do. We can at least have up to you know five of, of our airports in the best standard that you know this um, ACI Africa meeting is uh, I, you know uh, uh, dreaming about and uh, proposing that uh, we should have because more money will be made by the nation, the GDP will increase, more jobs will be created, and um, more private individuals who have keyed in one sector of the airport activities or the other will make super money and everybody is going to be happy and that's um, you know that's what uh, this whole thing is all about and i hope my viewers are, are taking this seriously and are going to you know dig in and uh, find uh, how uh, each and every one can uh, participate and uh, make a big deal out of this and then for our, our, our amiable honorable minister um, i'm sure you're working but uh, please, let's take it more seriously in, in case uh, we are wondering if we really want to go this direction. I think it's a, it's a way to go. Otherwise, we wouldn't have spent so much money you know, hosting the world and uh, having the world share great ideas with us. Honorable Mr. Hadi Sirica, uh, Nigerians are looking after you and Nigerians trust you because you, uh, you showed when you had your biggest challenge with the closure of Abuja Airport that you can beat deadlines. This is here is another one. Get it going. Be the deadline and remain the greatest uh, minister of aviation this nation has ever seen. Uh, this is just about encouraging you. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. Sir. I think that's how far yes. we can go on the program today. We thank you very much. Uh, next week, uh, Monday, we'll be coming your way again for more uh, very spectacular topics when it comes to the aviation sector. Yes, on Monday. We're going to continue with um, uh, uh, Daredevil Pilots. Yes. We'll take a, a few more uh, cases of Daredevil pilots so that we call the attention. Uh, this time we're, de we're dealing with foreign airlines, not Nigerian, in order to show that we're not the only ones that have Daredevils in our midst. But if those that are right here now know that it doesn't make any sense to engage in risky you know, uh, attitude and uh, activities while, while you fly, we'll have better pilots and we can keep our skies safe. Well, uh, we can actually run for okay, uh, uh, a period of 10, 15 years without, without, a, crash, without, a, without crash. a crash. Okay, it's, thank it's you. possible to do. Thank you very much, Mr. Godi. Uh, let's, uh, let, let's keep a date with him uh, next week, Monday, at uh, same time at uh, 7.30 a.m. Yeah. No, uh, 8 o'clock. Sorry, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. <laughs> 8 o'clock. Thank you very much. Somehow, that's yeah. the news time here. 7.30 to 8. And from 8 o'clock to 8.30, we'll be talking aviation. Okay, we'll take a break. When we return from the break, it will be time for us to have our next